down, but the storm isn't done with us yet. That's the Cape Coral Yacht Club. Dock is underwater. And the sun is setting, but the storm isn't done with us yet here. Tide starting to come in, so we got high tide here in about two hours, and uh, this water just keeps coming up. So hopefully it's going to stop pretty soon. Well, I finally made it back home, and it looks like I could use to raise the boat up, but I'm not sure if this water is too deep. Yeah, looks like we're missing a board there. Like that side right there broke free. That's not good. Well, I've never seen this much water here before. And I'm almost up to the top of this wall. Be all right for a little while. It's not going to start floating quite yet. Just keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's the highest I've ever seen the water. Like these boats have stayed here. Panels are still in place. Well, we're gonna have to keep watching it. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to end this video pretty much the same way I started it. Um, Sunday night when the storm was coming, we came out here and uh, made sure everything was tied down. Strapped down our sides that we had just cleaned up. Took this boat off those davits tied that up so all well, this made it fine um, you see the waters receded since last night and we got a few boards a few problems there on the dock um, but this is normal this is about normal high tide which you're looking at right now and that was all the way up 
to the top of that retaining wall and it looks like from what they're telling me we're finally going to get some uh, dry days so we'll be able to get this lawn cut it's been raining here for like two weeks so pro line made it through with no problems uh, you know the water did get you can see water got up pretty high there you know it was all the way across to the the top of this yeah our, our little live well didn't go anywhere because we threw a brick in that but uh near the board we lost so this stock is due for uh replacement here shortly that'll be a, a video coming up you can see uh some grass and stuff out on the dock so that's it uh the storm the storm finally made its second landfall last night um up in clearwater so that was landfall number two uh we were supposed to originally get this storm on monday it was supposed to hit hit the keys on you know, over the weekend like it did um, they thought it may turn into a hurricane before it hit the keys uh, it didn't it it came across and instead of coming north up our coast it went south down to Cuba so stayed down in Cuba now we, we were still getting some rain from it we we're still getting some wind from it uh, after that it came north again and it was supposed to go straight up through the Gulf and end up in um, the Panhandle. That was originally is what they were saying. And then yesterday morning we woke up to find out that the, the storm had shifted a little bit, which is the problem with living on the coast. These storms can shift, I mean, in a moment's notice and you weren't supposed to get it and now you got it. Charlie did that to us back in uh, 2004. So the storm shifted, came closer to us um, never made landfall here, but when I was filming, you know, the, the beaches and the, the boat ramps and stuff, it actually turned into a hurricane. So this was a hurricane for a while, while it was off our coast. Um, so we had Hurricane Ada. Uh, it finally continued on its way north. You know, a lot of flooding. Uh, I haven't seen surges like this ever down here. So for uh, even a tropical storm or a category one hurricane, we had a lot of surge. Um, but you know, we made it through, always do. And uh, it's far away from us now. So you can see blue skies, you can see that tree there, it's barely blowing. So we're back to normal. All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe, like this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.